What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. Real quick before we get started, I want to say thank you to our friends over at PPU Tactical for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for information on firearms, firearms accessories, or gear, PPU Tactical is the place to go. I really enjoy the site. I can always find something interesting to read. Be sure and check them out. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. So for today's video, we have a 55 pound anvil and we're gonna see how it holds up against the 50 BMG, AKA the 50 cal. This thing is very heavy and I believe it's made out of cast iron. Normally we would start out with a small caliber and work our way up to the 50, but I really don't see any reason to shoot this with a 22 long rifle or a nine millimeter or anything like that because I know it's not gonna do anything to this anvil. So today we're just gonna do rifles and we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna start out with the 50 and then work our way down. We're going to be about 200 yards back. I've already got the anvil set up. It's at a slight angle. That way, if we have a ricochet, it doesn't come back and hit me. It's going to ricochet off that way into the woods. So now let's get the 50 set up and get started. Okay, we have the Serbu RN50 set up, and we're going to start out with a blue tip. This is a pure incendiary round. I am not sure. If I hit the cinder block or if I hit the anvil, let's go find out. So it looks like I just hit the cinder block. I was holding about right here with the rifle and we hit the cinder block. So we know we are shooting low. So we're going to need to aim a little higher and hopefully we hit the anvil this time. We hit it that time. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we did. We flipped our anvil over. All right. Well, it doesn't look like we went very deep into the anvil. We chipped off a pretty good chunk. And look at all the black on this anvil now where that incendiary round went off and burned the surface of this anvil. Pretty cool. Okay, so we used the blue tip. Now let's use a silver and red tip armor piercing incendiary tracer. Let's go check that out. Man. So here's where we hit, and it looks like we actually made it through the anvil a little bit. We come out the side right here. <laughs> you can see through the hole. That's pretty cool. So now that we've shot it with an incendiary and an armor-piercing incendiary tracer, we can tell that the armor-piercing round is definitely doing a lot more damage to this anvil. It actually managed to push into the anvil and come out the side. Now that we've shot the side of this thing, Let's set it upright and see if we can hit this flat spot here. It is so cold. These next few months are going to be miserable. Absolutely miserable. <laughs> All right. So we used a blue incendiary round. We used a silver and red tip armor piercing incendiary tracer. Now let's shoot it with a silver tip. This is an armor piercing incendiary. Oh, I should have brought a pad. Gravel's killing my knee. Or I guess I could just take some triactin. You know, triactin like a man. Oh man, oh wow. You can see where that 50 cut down into that anvil. That is awesome. It's like my whole pinky finger down into the anvil. That's impressive. I think that before we shoot it with anything else, we need to shoot it with the 50 BMG one more time, armor piercing incendiary tracer, and see if we can hit in this area 
Okay, last shot with the 50 BMG. And again, we're gonna use the silver and red tip, armor piercing, incendiary tracer. Okay, well, we have some anvil all the way over here. We broke off a chunk. Here's a little bit right here. Some little pieces on the ground right there. So it looks like the bullet went into the anvil and then you can see it kind of curved off and shot out the side. I'd say this thing is pretty tough. I mean, we've hit it four times with the 50 and it's still holding up pretty well. Okay, now we're gonna shoot the anvil with a few more calibers. I wanted to show you this gun rack that Hold Up Display sent to us. It's really nice for filming when you bring a lot of rifles out. This one holds six. I like all the rubber coating on this so it's not gonna scratch your barrels. It folds up and also it breaks down into like three pieces. So it's really easy to take with you. A big thank you to Hold Up Displays for sending this out to us. This is gonna be really useful on the channel. Be sure and check them out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. Okay, now let's hit that anvil with a 338 Lapua. This is a Savage 111 long range hunter. And we're gonna be loaded up with some 250 grain full metal jackets. Well, the 338 Lapua did a little bit of damage, didn't it? Put a nice little crater in that. Nice. All right, now let's use a 30 out six. This is a Ruger American rifle, and we're gonna be loaded up with some 180 grain bullets. Okay, so I shot twice. I nicked it and then I hit it right here. But both times we put pretty good dents in that anvil. So now I'd like to introduce you to the newest addition to the channel. We have an FN Scar Heavy 308. This thing is beautiful. <laughs> very, very cool gun. So excited about this thing. All right, that's enough talking about the gun. We're loaded up with some 150 grain full metal jackets. And again, these are 308. I think I hit it. So here's where we hit with the 308. We made a pretty good crater right there. And then we hit the top and we chipped some of the anvil off. Okay, let's shoot it one or two more times. We have an AK-47, and we're loaded up with some full metal jackets. These are 7.62 by 39. Okay. So there's where we hit with the AK. It seems like all these rifles are kind of the same. You've got 338 Lapua, 308, 30-06, 7.62 by 39. They're not really doing a whole lot to this anvil. They are putting some pretty good craters in it, but no real damage. By the way, if you're wondering why you haven't had a close-up shot when I'm shooting it with these last few rifles, because that camera down there crapped out. Sorry, <laughs> the cold has not been kind to these batteries. All right, lastly, we're gonna hit it with an AR-15. We're loaded up with some 55 grain 5.56. Okay, so the 5.56 didn't even knock the anvil over. So we had good hits here, here, and here. Again, not a whole lot of difference. The depth on these hits are all about the same. 
Some are a little wider, like the 308, the 338 Lapua, but not really doing a whole lot to this anvil. All in all, I would say that this thing is pretty darn tough. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, a big thank you to PP Tactical for sponsoring today's video. Be sure and check them out. There'll be a link in the description down below. Be sure and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that bell. That way you get notifications when we upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those are in the description down below, or you can find them on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.